can't remember who wrote it. <laughs> Hello, zany friends, and welcome to our uh, two thrillers. I read both of these in September. The first one we're going to talk about is Don't Look For Me by Wendy Walker. And the second one we're going to talk about is Some Lanies Died. So uh, I think for this uh, purposes of this video, I want to talk about Some Lanies Died first. I picked up this book from NetGalley because of the name, obviously. Lanies. Yeah. Uh, the premise sounded really interesting. So it was the story of a uh, a girl named Delaney, but they called her Laney, who basically finds out that she can hop back and forth in time, like in her mind, but not really. Uh, and she, I don't even know if I can describe this like to the point where I could when I finished reading it because it's so complex. She finds out that her, uh, there have been like some twins that are found on a mountain um, her parents got like separated because she when she was like 13 years old saw her dad having an affair but for some reason all of the memories of this are different so she's got like all these alternate timelines that she remembers about this one incident and uh, it's just kind of a really interesting like time travel thing of her trying to figure out and in some timelines she dies hence the name of the book Hmm. This sounds like Quantum Leap without Al and gone wrong. Uh, kind of. I mean, except for like, sometimes it's the same thing that happens and sometimes not. Uh, in my opinion, it was kind of disjointed and a little repetitive. And as someone like me who likes to sit there and really analyze things, I felt like there were some plot holes. But I feel like if you don't analyze things and just want to go wrong for the story, you might really appreciate this type of book because it it definitely keeps moving. Uh, it won't make you bored. I was not bored. I was just spending half the time like, wait, how did that happen? Wait, let me think about that a little bit more. Okay. There are lots of twists and lots of turns and it's just, it's kind of like this roller coaster ride of a book, I mean, honestly, except when you get to the end and I feel like it kind of rushed a little to get to the ending it wanted to get to, instead of really explaining that this is how it is. And also, this is supposed to be a series of books, so I, I don't really know where they're gonna go at the end of this book, but it's it was like, it kind of hurt my brain just a little bit. I'm just not gonna lie there. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go there. Right. Um, if I'm gonna see some sci-fi or fantasy, I'd I'd like it to make some logical sense. Yeah, that's kind of bad. Like, we as analytical people are really, like, into poking into the plot. <laughs> so sometimes that doesn't work well for us. I don't know. Anyway, I gave it three stars for mm -hmm. that. Now let's talk about Don't Look For Me by Wendy Walker. This is a story of a woman who goes missing off the side of the road. Her family doesn't know where she's gone, but they find a letter in a hotel that says that she's sick of being a disappointment to her family and has decided just to leave them so that they can be happy without her. Uh, however, that's not really the case. Uh, she, uh, because you see two points of view in this book, it's written from her point of view and also her daughter's point of view. So you can see the different misinformation that's happening. What you find out is that the woman at the beginning of the book uh, accepts a ride from a man and his daughter and uh, they take her, it's raining, you know, torrential rain, so they take her to their house and uh, they let her stay the night so that she can get dry and then don't let her leave. And so the whole rest of the book is about the daughter trying to find her mom and follow all the clues that it takes to get to where the mom is. This little grade disturbs me. Low grade disturbs me. It actually wasn't that disturbing. It's just the concept of it. It, it, it tweaks certain buttons that exist in me. I'm... I can understand that, but yeah. it actually is not that disturbing. In fact, I felt like this was a really good read. There were lots of twists at the end I did not see coming. And uh, I, I just thought it was like one of those books that you can just read in a night and you know, you're good to go. I mean, it was a lot of like puzzle pieces, but also a lot of you going, oh no, no, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, ah! you know, that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gave the book four stars. I thought it was a solid oh. read. I've never read anything by this author before, but I'm excited to read more because I thought she was great. And as far as the, you know, double point of view thing goes, you know, I'm okay. There are some books where I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> but in this case, I am okay with that. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah. So thank you for uh, watching our two thrillers uh, of book reviews. Uh, if you uh, know of any good thrillers coming out that you think we might enjoy, please put them below so we know what they are. Okay. Yes. So until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.